Welcome back to Holy Fire Defense. I had somebody ask questions about the 590M and the 590. Are they both the same? Can both of them take mags? Which they cannot. Only the 590M can take mags. So I wanted to let you guys know that. Most of you probably do, some don't. Now, this is the 590. And this one, of course, is not mag fed. This one, you put the shells in the tube, holds nine shots. This one, the 590M, can't put shells. There's no tube for the shells. Looks like it there is, but there isn't. Only this mag goes on here, like that. And I was looking at both of these, and if you look, the 590M barrel is shorter than the regular 590. And I thought that when I had it first got it. I was like, hey, this looks shorter than my 590. The barrel is literally shorter. And with the 590, you have this for the bayonet. Attach the knife here, boom, boom. And it has the longer tube, of course, because the shells go into the tube. So it needs that room to hold those nine shells. This one, of course, is mag fed. So that's how it is, boom, boom. But yeah, just a little quick update, let you guys know what's going on. Cause you know, you assume people just know stuff. You know, everybody don't know everything. Sometimes we assume everybody does, but they don't. So that's what we're here to help them out. And shout out to all my subscribers, man. Uh, I'm grateful for you. I'm thankful for you. And uh, I'm just trying to get to the point where I can start doing lives so we can really start chopping it up on those lives and get to it and talk about these guns. And then I can answer you guys' questions right there. You know what I'm saying? Be easier. But I'm not there yet. You know, I got to build up. My watch time has started over in January, so I was almost up to the 4,000 hours, but now I got to start all the way over again. So hopefully I'll get to those 4,000 hours soon so we can start doing the lives and talking about these guns, these Mossbergs, and having a conversation. Still like my Mossberg 590, the regular one. Yeah, I put this shell holder on here with the rail. It just kind of makes it look different, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep that on there or not. You guys let me know what you think. If I should keep it on there or just make it look more original but yeah so now we know this barrel is shorter so if I were to put a pistol grip on this this would be so that would just be that part right there that would be a little that would look crazy the reason why I don't though is because it has these big old sights on it you know and if I'm gonna put a pistol grip on it well, then I might as well take the sights off. So, leave it like it is. Still got to shoot it. Yeah, Holy Fire Defense. Make sure you like and subscribe. Shotguns, shotguns. Now, how long these things have been around? I was watching some old Western movies. and what they call them back then? The uh, scatter guns or whatever they called them but they had those two shot 12 gauges way back in the 1800s and now you know it ain't too much changed i mean you could pump them now and have more than two shots but these things ain't changed too much so really these are one of the pioneer guns of the west that you know the handguns those hammer you got to pull the hammer back each time you shoot that's why you see them on there pop 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 pulling that hammer back like hitting it da, 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 da. And let me know. I was thinking about getting like a 30-30, a lever gun, lever rifle. And uh, let me know what you guys think about that. I've always wanted one of those, you know. When I was a kid, I shot those, but I, I, I want one of those. 